everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm gonna to make a cool and refreshing dessert called serradura. Now serradura in English is called uh, sawdust pudding. It consists of Maria cookies that is crumbled up um, and it has some whipping cream, some sweet condensed milk, some vanilla extract, and I also add an additional ingredient that I like to use to just enhance the flavor. It's a super easy, cool, refreshing dessert, and I hope you stay with me to watch how to make my serradura step-by-step. Step. To make my serradura recipe, here are the following five ingredients you'll need. 500 milliliters of whipping cream, 35%, one cup of sweetened condensed milk, 200 grams of Maria biscuits or Maria cookies, and it's 200 grams, 28 cookies approximately half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now these ingredients will be listed in my description box down below. For the first step and to start, I'm going to place the Maria cookies in my food processor to form a crumb of the cookies. Now if you don't have a food processor, you can also use a blender and use the crush cycle. So I'm gonna start off by breaking the cookies uh, and placing them in the food processor to form the crumb and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. Okay, I've had the cookies in the food processor for about 30 seconds. It's formed uh, a very fine crumb, and I'm gonna show you. So it's very fine, very, very fine. So once you have your Maria cookies all blended in, and formed into this crumb, you're ready to move on to the next step. So let's do that. For the next step, I'm going to mix the whipping cream into stiff peaks on my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. It will take a little longer. So I'm gonna place the whipping cream into the mixing bowl and it's nice and cold. And now I'm going to add my wire whisk attachment to my mixing bowl or to my mixer rather. Place the mixer on high speed uh, for about two to two and a half minutes until your whipping cream has formed stiff peaks. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, at this point, I know that the whipping cream has been uh, mixing here for about two and a half minutes. I'm ready to move on to the next step, but let me show you, if you're not sure uh, you formed your stiff peaks, you could just take the bowl of the whipping cream and turn it upside down. Nothing comes out. You know you have your stiff peaks. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I'm going to take the sweetened condensed milk and the vanilla ex extract and add it to my uh, whipping cream. So I'm gonna pour in the sweetened condensed milk going to add the vanilla extract. With a spatula, I'm going to just mix it in. We have the sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and the whipping cream all combined, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I'm gonna take the Maria cookie crumble that I have here. And I'm going to pour a little uh, in a small bowl, just about a couple tablespoons. That's good enough. And the rest I'm gonna place in a large bowl. So now I have the Maria cookies in this large bowl. Now these two tablespoons approximately of uh, the cookie crumble, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of the cinnamon powder. Now I'm just gonna mix that in. This is gonna be my topping. All right, now I have that mixed together. Now once you have the cinnamon mixed in, the Maria cookie crumbs, you can smell that cinnamon in there. Oh my gosh, the flavor is gonna give this sawdust pudding or serradura. Now for the next step, I want to assemble the serradura in these dessert cups or dessert glasses. Um, and I just love the way it looks. 
And before I do that, I don't want to make a mess with the cream. You can spoon in the, the mixture of the whipping cream and the condensed milk and the vanilla, um, but I like to pipe it in. So what I'm going to do is take the mixture and I'm going to place it in a piping bag. So I have a piping bag here and I'm going to place the piping bag in the cup because the cream is quite loose. And I'm gonna place the mixture of the whipping cream and condensed milk right into the piping bag. And we're ready to form the seta duda on the individual cups. So let's move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I have here five dessert cups, five of us here at home. So I'm going to uh, prepare five individual servings of seta duda. So I'm going to start off by piping the mixture. And before I do that, I'm just gonna cut a tip, just like that. And I'm gonna start by piping it at the bottom. Now, once I have the cream at the bottom layer, I'm gonna add the Maria cookie uh, mixture. Just a little bit, you just wanna dust. I just use my hands. So about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. If you feel you wanna add a little bit more, you can. You can add as much as you'd like. Now I have one layer of the cream, one layer of the Maria cookies, um, and I'm gonna place another layer of the cream, and then another layer of the cookies, and then another layer of the cream. So I'm gonna assemble all five of the Serra Duda um, individual dishes, and then I'll show you what it looks like. layer will be the mixture of the cinnamon and the Maria cookies. And there you have it, everyone. That is my Seta Duda uh, served individually in nine in ounce cups. You want to place this Seta Duda, the individual bowls, covered with some plastic wrap uh, in the refrigerator, and you want to serve this dessert cold because it's so delicious. All right, I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for a couple hours, then I'll come back, dig into it, and show you what it looks like. And there you have it, everyone. That's my recipe for Seta Duda Sawdust Pudding. A fabulous, cool, refreshing dessert for the summer months. If you haven't tried Seta Duda, give it a try. It's easy to put together, as you can see. Uh, now, I made it where it's not overwhelming with a lot of cookies in the center and a lot of cream. So I gave a really thin layer of the cookies and the cream. But if you want to put more cream and more cookies, totally up to you. You do it the way you would like to do it in the sense of if you like more cookies and if you like more cream, add it in. You'll probably get less uh, serving. So each bowl is a nine ounce uh, bowl. I was able to make five. I can even make six if I'd like, uh, but it's only five of us at home. I wanted to make sure each one of us had an individual serving of Serra Duda. I hope you all enjoy this recipe of Serra Duda. And if you do, and you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care. this world so amazingly delicious